I've been writing about sandwiches since long before I ever caught on to TikTok. Yes, I know, blogs are horribly old-fashioned, but I am both horrible and old. Today I want to talk about a sandwich I wrote about way back in the early days, the British Bacon Butty. Now, my Midwestern mushmouth wants to pronounce that lazily, voicing the T's, which makes Bacon Butty into Bacon Buddy. We're not talking about a little porky pal, though. We're talking about a sandwich. In British English, the word sandwich will usually indicate sliced bread, whereas sandwiches using other types of bread will be named after that bread instead. A bacon roll, cheese cob, sausage bap, pie barm, etc. Butty doesn't indicate the type of bread, though, as I understand it. It can be any of the above, as long as some butter gets spread on it. I'm going to stick with sliced bread, though, regardless. The bacon butty may be served plain, with only butter and bacon. Or with HP sauce, which is similar to a smoother, sweeter A1 sauce. Or even Japanese tonkatsu sauce. Or with ketchup, not my favorite, but we'll give it a shot. Or with mustard. I'm using a British mustard called Coleman's that has a pretty good kick to it. Much like the last time I made these, I don't completely get it. Most of that has to do with the bacon itself. I buy this bacon at a local Irish market, and I like just about everything they do there. But this bacon has never quite thrilled me. It's made with pork loin, as you can see, an oval cut of very lean meat with a little bit of a fat cap on the top. The rashers of British bacon that I usually see consist of a loin section with some fattier rib meat along the bottom and extending from one side of the loin. They don't really sell a cut of pork like that in the U.S. unless you buy a rib roast or a rack of pork and then remove the ribs. I've had this rib roast curing with salt and sugar for eight days. Let's slice it up and give it a shot. The rib meat is visibly different than the loin meat. Darker, more robust, with more fat marbled throughout the meat. These rashers are sliced maybe just a bit thicker than the Irish bacon I bought and take a little longer to cook, about four minutes per side on medium-high heat, so we get some good color on the meat. The thicker, fattier meat of this rasher is substantially juicier than those made from loin meat alone, and since the rashers are bigger already, three of them may be overkill. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing, though. I like both the HP sauce and the Coleman's mustard, but the combination of the two is even better, Reminiscent of the spicy mustard and tonkatsu sauce combination in some Japanese sandwiches. Ah yes, thank you Brits, this will do.